so I just now got home not that long ago from the store. I wanted to do it in the morning time because it was much more cooler in the morning and it was not that hot in the morning time. Because later on it will be in the, in the hundreds and we didn't want to go out there when it was in the hundreds. So I drank a little bit of my coffee I had this morning when I got home. My little favorite mug ever. If you guys were wondering where I got this from, I got it from Walmart. But if you guys don't have Walmart or you don't see it there, I would suggest going on Amazon and seeing if they have it. Like, in case if any of your stores don't have it, then Amazon would. And I ate yogurt. Key lime yogurt. Really good. So what I like about going in the morning to the store is, like, whenever it's about to get hot later in the day, I like going in the morning because it's, like, way more cooler in the morning time. But when it's, like, really cold and the weather is not, like, summer weather or anything, then I like it to go later in the day. It just depends on the day and the time of the day. And... Sometimes I like going like late at night. <laughs> I think it just like depends like if we're out there at night and then we go. Now for example we needed desperately needed something. Then we go at night. Where there's like less people. Because I remember doing that one time. <laughs> it was like late at night. And it was kinda nice because there was like not that many people. And Sometimes I go in early in the morning. It just depends on the weather and how hot it is or how cold it is. Let me actually go. So right now, all I'm doing right now is watching some videos on YouTube. And I'm uploading the main channel's video onto YouTube right now. So that way I can keep myself busy and preoccupied while I'm doing other things. Like when I'm, usually when I'm waiting for a video to upload, I go on other tabs and I do other stuff while on the tab. So that way I could get other stuff done while I'm waiting for my video to upload. I usually always do that every single time that I upload videos. So anyone here who wants to start YouTube, you know, like a little side hobby and stuff like that. Like a little hobby to keep you busy and stuff like that. I would suggest if you try uploading your video and you want to wait. What I would suggest you do is open up different tabs. Like for example, you want to watch a YouTube video or you need something to work on. You could like put one other tab while you're waiting for your video. And then browse the internet on any site that you like to go to. So that way, until your video uploads, you can actually keep occupied while you're waiting for it to be done. And another thing is, if you want to try to edit video, what I use is, let me see, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD. Let me see, I have to hover over it. HD 11.0. That's why I use to edit my videos. And I'm going to show you what I used of the camera. I'm going to show you guys. Here, let me just show you the box. I know I showed it before, but for anyone that's new to the channel, I used the Sony 5000. <laughs> here, let me just show you the box here. Let's put you guys down here for a minute I use this camera this is right here this is what it looks like you could actually find it on Amazon buy it on Amazon it works pretty good for a good camera so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the link to the camera down in the description box below for you guys. 
so that way if you guys ever want to get a good camera for vlogging or a camera that is good for any type of videos you want to do this one I'm using it works pretty good and I absolutely love this camera I seriously do so I'll leave the thing in the description box below for you guys that way you guys could actually see if you guys want it or not it like, works pretty really good for a good camera and what I use for a camera bag is this I got it at Walmart, it doesn't cost much, about like almost $13 for it, I think. But that's a good, pretty good for, for holding your camera in. But if you're starting out and you want to vlog or something, you don't have to have a very good camera yet. You could easily use your, like, your cell phone for videos. And you could try to do that and upload to YouTube directly with your phone and you could always buy get a camera later when you could afford it that's what I had to do before I used my camera to do videos and if you're wondering how I do videos for games I use the Elgato for PlayStation 4 games and for PC games I use the Action Desktop Recorder for the, the PC games that's what exactly why I do. And when, with the Elgato, all you have to do is just plug it into your PlayStation 4 and then you plug it into your computer and you're good to go from there. That's how I do it. And if you guys want me to do a how-to video of how to get the Elgato, if you plan on doing a play from the PlayStation 4 or any game console, the Elgato will work for anything like, for example, if you're using it for Xbox, you could use it for that. You could use it for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, even, you could even use it for the PlayStation 2. But you really gotta set it up good. Because I remember when I tried to play on my PlayStation 2, my voice didn't pick up at all. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'll figure it out. You just gotta fiddle around with it until it works with your voice and stuff. That's exactly what I have to do, I have to like figure that out. And for the action, all you have to do is just like set it up and open it up. And then you can like put the like the little hotkeys to any hotkey that you want to record with. Like for example, you could put like screenshots with the 8 button. And then you could use the 0 button to record. Any type of button that you could use for recording making screenshots you could actually use for it so, not that hard to use and for my mic i use this the blue stone snowball ice i use that for my my gameplay videos so that's pretty works pretty good for a mic i had it like for a couple years now and it still works really good and i have like the little stand for it here and the little pop filter that helped it even more with that so yeah it works really good and i probably will be playing a little bit of hearthstone today probably will after i get some of my videos up i noticed that like uploading is a little tad bit faster today than it was yesterday which is a good thing so I'm cleaning everything up faster. Hi, Holly. <laughs> oh, Harley's so tired. Good tell. Harley. Decided to go ahead and show you guys what the actual camera looks like. Besides just having to use the box to show you. So, this is what it looks like. Don't mind the mirror. <laughs> so, it looks like it comes with the lens. And you could go like this. And then you could go like that. It has like a little ASM there. And then Sony here. And what the I like about this is you go like this. 
and the little flash doohickey comes out. And you can put it right back in. And the good part is flip screen. <laughs> Can't you use the flip screen? There I am in the screen. So it's really, really useful. It has these and it comes with the little strap. They can actually use to like put on your shoulder or something. But I rather prefer to use the camera bag. Because if you use the camera bag, then it'll make it more easier to keep the camera itself safe. That way you don't, like for example, what if the strap breaks and the camera falls like that? That's why I would prefer to use the camera bag for this. Do you know how cameras are? They're like a lot, cost a lot, and if you break it, then you have to buy like a whole new camera. I'm actually getting a, a vlog up today. Shouldn't take too, too long. I already got the title in and the thumbnail. So, should be up within the next minutes or so. However long it'll take, but it'll be up. It's getting up there though. About like 10% already. I'm gonna go ahead and open my blinds for a little bit more. Cause this is really definitely needs sunlight in this room. Oh, it's so bright outside. It's like it literally is. There's a big bird up there in the sky. Wow. I'll have to show you guys before it goes. So there's a big bird right in the sky there. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where that bird's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> and that bird that I saw was really huge. I don't know where it went. And one summer, it's like a magic bird or something. <laughs> You're a wizard bird. <laughs> yep, it's official. The big birds are wizards. And they went to Hogwarts. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> and there's always animals down across. I absolutely love seeing the animals. Like, that's why I have my desk facing the, the window. Because you can actually see all the animal. I think a couple of days ago or so, there was a really adorable little squirrel that go that was going right across the the little brick wall in the backyard. <laughs> like all, it's like so much fun to see the little squirrels go right across. And um, I think on the same day, I saw a little baby lizard, a little tiny. Like this big, and the tail was like long. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just absolutely love animals. Like, there's why I do. And they were so adorable when they're so tiny. And I think I saw a video of a little baby cockatiel, like a little baby one. That's so tiny and adorable and so cute. I always have a notification on my phone. I'm just show you guys what I'm playing. I'm playing a little bit of Animal Crossing on my phone right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clip everything in the little my bot here. There we go. I got all the stuff that's in my my bot. I always do that like every time I play Animal Crossing on my phone. I usually like to take a look around on the on the game. And I think right now we're collecting a bunch of bees on flowers. We had visitors. I had visitors in my garden. Can't have to return the favor. Yeah, I really hope you guys are doing very good. I'm doing great myself. And I'm just keeping busy while I'm getting some stuff up. 
And it looks like the vlog I was uploading is almost done. It's just processing. So it should be up fairly soon. And you guys will be able to watch it. And hopefully the weather outside will calm down. Because <laughs> I really like much more cooler weather. And Animal Crossing has been distracting me so much lately. But it's like a very fun distraction. <laughs> so if any of you guys never played the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp thing yet, I would suggest it. But if it's like a game that you guys don't really want to play, then you could always uninstall because the game itself on the phone is actually free and you don't have to pay for the game. So that's a pretty much a good thing. You could always uninstall anytime you want. And right now I'm just sharing my little bumble cubies. with another person because they shared some of their bumble cubies with me so I'm only making it fair and sharing with them too there we go I think I'm done the hair here for now if you guys enjoyed the video feel free to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys later bye guys